Today, you can find plastic in all spheres of human life. Still, public opinion is uncompromising. If you say plastic, you might get a reply like this. What's the reason? Why are some against it? Well, it's not hard to find out why. Each of us has it. Chemophobia is an irrational fear of chemicals. It is one of the forms of technophobia and a fear of obscurity. People are convinced that all chemicals are harmful, although this generalization is incorrect. Since all objects of the material world, including air and water, are chemical compounds, In the 1990s, students of the University of California at Santa Cruz decided to prove that all people have chemophobia. Their experiment was called dihydrogen monoxide. Dihydrogen monoxide is the scientific name for water. Everyone knows about H2O, but no one knows about dihydrogen monoxide, except chemists. The guys printed leaflets, attention! Dihydrogen monoxide contamination detected. Its concentration is especially high in water. Sign the petition to ban dihydrogen monoxide. 95 out of 100 respondents signed the petition. This experiment was carried out many times in different cities by different groups of researchers. The result was always the same. Most people were in favor of a decisive ban on dihydrogen monoxide. This nasty stuff shouldn't exist either at home or in reservoirs. There's also subjective opposition that sounds like this. Synthetic or man-made substances are harmful and natural ones are useful. But many people don't take into account that there are a lot of poisonous substances in nature. For example, many plants are poisonous. Here. Minerals. Arsenic. Ammonia. Mercury, asbestos. But perhaps most importantly, plastic is also created by nature at its very depths. The toxicity of all substances on Earth is determined by their concentration, not by a mere fact of their existence. You can even get poisoned by oxygen if you inhale it in its pure form. And when you hear that a substance with a scientific name must be prohibited for being dangerous, remember the experiment of Californian students. So you should try figure out what it is first. Production of plastics is a blow to the environment. In comparison with what? In comparison with natural materials like paper, metal, glass. Well, to start with, plastic is a natural material. We talked about it. As for the comparison, this is data on the amount of energy and carbon dioxide emissions for different types of production. Plastic is one of the most energy efficient and last in terms of CO2 emissions. Anyway, this is harmful. Let's be logical. What is harmful? To produce metal? It is much more harmful. As for transportation, what do you think is easier to transport? One plastic bottle or one glass bottle? Exactly the same. No! A plastic bottle is much lighter than a glass one. This means that there will be less fuel burnt during transportation. Therefore, fewer emissions. It's just simple math. But it is harmful to drink from a plastic bottle. This myth is popularized by manufacturers of glass containers because economically it is no longer profitable to produce drinks in glass bottles. Repeated studies, including medical ones, have proven plastic type PET is safe for the food industry. Moreover, its reuse after recycling is also safe. And all the same, plastic is harmful to humans. Let's take medicine, which is extremely important for people as an example. What syringes were used half a century ago? Glass ones. And now, plastic. 
So, the invention of plastic allowed us to make disposable syringes, disposable tools as well. This dramatically reduced the risk of human infection during operations. Add prosthetics, artificial organs, joints, absorbable suture materials, garments for surgeons, equipment. These are all made from plastics. Can you still say that it is harmful to humans? Yes, plastic windows, for example. Well, firstly, the windows are made of glass. Only the frames are made of PVC. And then who told you that they were harmful? Well, they emit something harmful. To make PVC give off anything that would be harmful to a person, you would need to heat the plastic to a temperature of 437 Fahrenheit. This can't happen as a result of direct sunlight, only if you start a fire. Okay. So during a fire, everything that burns emits harmful substances. You wouldn't breathe in smoke from a forest fire, wood, paper, glass, even metal. It's all toxic during combustion. But paper, glass, and metal can be recycled and used again. Plastic can't. We can and we must recycle plastic and reuse it. It is the perfect material for it. And it requires less energy and fewer assembly costs compared to glass and metal. Then why isn't it recycled? This is a good question, by the way. Although we should reshape it, why isn't it recycled everywhere in the world? For example, China is the leader in recycling. Up to 90% of waste is recycled there. What about us? We recycle 5 to 7% of waste, despite having enough capacity in factories. But they lack raw materials. Why? We don't have that habit. People are not used to sorting their garbage. It's just simpler to say that plastic is harmful. And don't think that plastic is harmful. It is only when it is just thrown into a landfill, not when it's recycled. Well, it's the state's responsibility to create the right conditions. And then we will start sorting garbage. In fact, a ban has already been issued on the dumping of waste that includes useful components. But then it's up to people to choose. What people? Well, you. Me, what can I do? Well, to start with, you've got to understand that you may and you must sort garbage and send plastic for recycling and stop treating it like something harmful. Plastic is not more dangerous than other materials. Plus, now we have a variety of ways to use polymers. All their properties and qualities are not fully discovered. That is, plastic can be absolutely anything. As for pollution, it is not plastic that is to blame for this, but people. The material perfectly suited for recycling should not simply be thrown out. You can save lots of lives. After all, John Hyatt saved so many African and Indian elephants with his plastic billiard balls. <laughs>